Putting together a winning resume is no laughing matter, but sometimes we all have to do it. And here we got Dave Speck to join us today to talk about that. Good morning, Danielle. It's, it's so good nice to, be to here. see you. You too. You've been a friend of mine for a while, and you have some great tips and information because you actually wrote a book that's on Amazon yes. called The Headhunter's Resume Guide. Right. And there's a lot of things that people just overlook that sometimes really cost them getting that job that they're really talented and qualified for. They do, and it's it's simple. It's as simple as you can make it. So that's how I wrote the book. I wrote it very directly mm -hmm. just to make it very, very simple. It's online only, and it's designed to kind of sit there and be able to thumb through basically on your way to a job interview yeah. or, you know, Know, over 20 minutes so we wrote the book just to make it very very simple and simple is good and you say right now we're in an unemployment low and then you want people to understand that they can take advantage of that but how do they go about doing it so getting yourself back in the market if you mm -hmm. think of it like dating you're suddenly back in the market you know oh, you want to look yeah. good you want to have your online profile where you want it to be and you want to mm -hmm. let people know that you're out there looking at exactly what you're looking for so that when they hear things in their network they think of you because mm -hmm. you do have to separate yourself from all the other candidates out there that are trying to get that one job that's true it's a candidate uh, candidate market unemployment's around 3.7 which is historically low mm -hmm. so those with professional skills that are marketable are, are really in desire right now. Now you also talk about the million dollar makeover you got to explain that a little bit. Sure that's just something I put together to, just to get a candidate ready to go out again okay. think of it like getting out in the dating scene you want to look right so I, I tell you it's not a million bucks you're gonna spend about a hundred dollars on yourself and mm -hmm. you're gonna get everything get taken care of so go out and get yourself a haircut treat yourself right um, right. Get out there and you know buy yourself a new shirt or buy yourself something that makes you feel good and mm -hmm. new, uh, that looks good, get it fitted, or just get something you like and get it uh, dry cleaned. And then when you're driving to the job interview, you want to feel good. So I always say get your car at least washed or detailed. Right, so it's the impression. Take care of yourself. Is yeah. it true that sometimes those employers are looking through the blinds and they're like, ooh, they can't even keep their car clean. I don't know if they're going to be, it's what about their cubicle, true. you know? It's more about how you feel, but yeah, the job interview mm -hmm. starts when you pull up because mm -hmm. you can be sitting in your car outside of the interviewer's window right. picking your nose thinking it hasn't started yet <laughs> and they're watching you the whole time. Absolutely. So yeah, it starts on the way in. This is so true. Now we're also going to talk about what they should focus on because a lot of people some, sometimes want to put everything to let people know that they are super qualified but sometimes you do have to streamline it so how can you pinpoint it and what should they focus yeah, on? yeah that's a great question some people think the resume gets you the job and the mm -hmm. resume is just going to get you the phone call or the interview right. so that's all you want to do is put enough in there that it, it gathers the right attention and you really want to only apply for things that you're interested in and that you're qualified for we right. see a lot of candidates say well maybe they'll see something in me but if you don't have the the, the mm -hmm. skills it, you're setting yourself up for failure, you're going to feel like it's not going well, when really all you did was make a mistake for applying uh, to a role that just didn't make sense for you in the first place. Good information. If you are looking to get out there and get that new job, make sure you put your best foot forward. It is called the Headhunter's Resume Guide. His name is David Speck, and you can get more information. We'll have a link on our website, azdailymix.com.